Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this week's Verishop live stream. I'm so excited about this week. Hold on, this is a little blurry. Let me wipe this. Hold, please. I'm just wiping my lens for you so you can see me better. There we go. <laughs> I'm so excited about this week's live stream. We are talking about some of my favorite home basics. Um, and the idea here is that I've uh, created a list of kind of small items that you can add to your current uh, home setup that are beautiful, functional, minimal, and uh, just add that extra vibe uh, to your life. So if you click on the, oh yeah, also, <laughs> hi, I'm Madison. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, I am a former fashion editor turned digital strategist. I live between New York and Los Angeles and uh, I'm currently in LA. Hi, Angel. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I am currently in, in Los Angeles. Um, I am so excited to be partnering with Verishop. I do this every Tuesday at 5 p.m. PST or 8 p.m. EST. Uh, and we've done some skincare, we've done some fashion, and this is the first home show, which I'm so, so, so excited about. If you follow me on Instagram or anywhere else, you know that I'm obsessed with architecture and design uh, and improving my home space and really making it um, gorgeous, but also functional. So I'm so excited about this. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about the three things I have here first. And then I'm going to go over the other things that I added to my collection that I'm just obsessed with. Okay. The first item is this absolutely beautiful ceramic jar candle from L'Or de Serphine. Serphine. I don't know. I'm not French. All my friends are French. They're going to get mad at me for saying that. But anyway, um, I ordered this absolutely beautiful ceramic jar candle. Um, from this beautiful brand. So my favorite thing about this item, and really candles, nice candles in general, is that for the first half of this candle's life, I haven't even lit it yet, you have a fragrant, stunning, vibey candle. And for the second half of this candle's life, you have a gorgeous vessel. I think the multifunction of using these kind of beautiful ceramic jars um, is the best. If you're like me, I have candle jars in my medicine cabinets that hold all my makeup brushes. I use them to hold like Q-tips. Um, this one would be so beautiful on a um, countertop with like your toothbrushes and your toothpaste coming out of. Uh, you could use it in the kitchen for like Nespresso pods. And there's my Nespresso. <laughs> you know what I mean? You could like put your pods in it or something. Um, the kind of second life uses for this jar are endless, which I love so, so much. Um, this one particularly, I'm trying to find um, what the scent is called. I chose this scent, not gonna lie, based on the jar. So I'm pretty sure this is like a gardenia and oleander or something, um, because I thought that this jar was, was uh, the most minimal and I liked the like neutral colors. Um, but take a click onto this product. It should be about about here. Um, and you might find some colors or like a scent that that more suits your vibe. Uh, I just thought this was so lovely. It smells so so good. I should grab a um, match and light it for you. You guys want to watch watch the first burn. I always find the first burn of a candle to be so exciting. So I'm obsessed with actual matches. I really don't like lighters or um, or um, like long lighters or like the, this kind of lighter. I find them to be less um, meaningful. Do you know what I mean? Like I love the moment of lighting, striking a match and lighting a, a candle. I think it's so 
intentional and it like helps you be present, enjoy the moment. All the things that we love so much. So let me light this for you. Okay, are you ready? This is so exciting that we get to do this together. I love the first. Oh, and then it smells so good too. Oh, you guys, I wish you could smell. This is so fun. I love that we just did this together. Um, so yes, highly recommend. Um, I think the jar alone is reason enough to buy this candle. And then we haven't even talked about this. It has this little um, hat <laughs> or cover that its actual purpose is that when uh, you're done with your, your burn, you can put this um, on top of it and it'll kill the oxygen, meaning the, the fire will go out. Fire, it's not a fire, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> uh, but it also makes it really beautiful and it's such a lovely thing to sit on your, um, like on a, mine's on my dresser, but you can set it in the middle of a table, um, really anything that, that you want. A side table would be really beautiful next to, um, next to your bed. Anyway, that's a gorgeous candle, and I'm really glad that we got to light that together. How fun. Um, don't forget, oops, I almost swiped out. If you have any questions this whole time that we are here together for the next 30 minutes, don't forget, you can pop a question into the little question box about right here. Ask me anything you want. It's really, really fun when you ask questions, so ask me anything. You can ask me about my life, my dog these products, anything, it makes it a lot more fun and it makes me feel like you're happy to be here because I'm happy to be here. Okay, um, let me present just a few of the other candles that I love so much. Um, the next one is on super sale. So if you are uh, new to the candle world or like just want to get a little taste, Grab this one. It's by Brooklyn Candle Studio, which we love. Small business, of course, based in Brooklyn. Um, with my discount right now for the next 30 minutes, this one is only $15, which is awesome. It's called Sweet Fig, which I bet smells literally amazing. And then the next one from the Brooklyn Candle Studio is the Santal candle. If you follow scents or care about scents, you'll know that Santal scented candles is like you know, the thing, the thing we want our homes to smell like. Uh, so take a peek at those. Don't forget about this gorgeous one. It's so pretty. You're kind of like, you can't really see the, the candle. Well, that's fine. Um, two other notes on candles. When you do your first burn, let your candle burn all the way around and let it make a solid pool of wax all the way on top of the candle and then blow it out. Candle tip number one. Candle tip number two, instead of blowing out your um, flame, like I would go like that, take the end of your match, because we just talked about how much we love matches, and dip your wick into the pool of wax. Um, it will basically just like preserve your candle uh, for as long as possible. And then your last candle keeping tip is that you should trim your wick every single time before you go to burn your candle. So you never want your wick to be like long and scraggly and black and whatever. You always want it to be like, uh, I'm trying to see if I can show you, like, I don't know, like that long like only a few centimeters long coming out of the top. Um, if the wick gets too long, it'll make like an uneven burn and mess up your nice, expensive, beautiful candle. Okay, those are all my candle tips. <laughs> my next product to show you, and I should say, I've been trying really hard to find home items that I love and that are to my um, level of quality and uh, sustainable materials and whatever but that don't break the bank. So I found these cotton um, tea towels from a uh, new company, well, new to me, company called Monday Sunday. 
which I'm so excited about. Um, and here they are. They are magic linen. So these are 100% linen. And they're just super duper beautiful. Um, I am literally about to hang them up in my kitchen and replace the towels that I have there. Um, I love these uh, patterns and fabrics. It's so beautiful. Um, the, the texture feels delicious. Um, I can tell that these will dry really easily when I like dry dishes or something. Uh, where did that go? Oh, they have this loop here in the middle to be hung like this, which is just so chic. Um, so I think these are, are so pretty. I love them so much. Uh, let me see if I have anything else in here. Oh, and then I added actually my other towel set. This is from a brand called Etude. Um, they have a store on Bleecker Street in the West Village in New York. Um, they are very conscious about using less water than traditional um, sheets and towel makers to create their products. Um, and this is the waffle towel set. Uh, I love a waffle towel instead of like a thick Terry towel um, for post shower. I find that they absorb water faster and they dry much faster, meaning they get less like moldy and gross over time. Um, I find them to be a much uh, better choice. A better choice for you to spend your money on. Um, and this brand is amazing a brand I can really get behind. Uh, it's with my discount right now, only $55 for this towel set. You can either add it to your bag or click buy now. I suggest clicking add to bag so you can go back to it later. Um, okay, you guys, the next thing. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> okay, when I tell you that this is probably my favorite Vera Shop find yet, this is called modern sprout and this is an indoor basil garden kit this has been sitting on my counter for a very long time and i've been waiting to open it with you so that we could do it together uh i think it's like the most beautiful thing ever so this kit includes a stainless steel pot uh, a wick, a glass planter, basil seeds, plant food, carbon, a cocoa disc. Uh, I don't even know what all those things are. But I thought that we could plant my, my basil together. Doesn't that sound so cute? So I haven't opened this yet. I'm going to open it with you. We can experience this together. Oh. Um, I also loved this pot so much. It's so chic and minimal. Um, so cute. It does have their little emblem on it, but if you know me, I'll turn it around because I don't like logos or branding. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay. So, there's some the rocks. Or maybe the rocks. I don't know. Maybe they're fancy rocks. Uh, here's my little seeds, look. Genovese basil. Cute. Plant fertilizer. Oh, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my dog. Wanted to come check it out, you wanna see? Say hi. Say hi, she thought I was giving out a T-R-E-A-T, -E I think. Did you like the twinkle of that bag? Yeah? Okay. Okay, Lulu, you wanna sit here? We're growing some plants, all right? Okay. So, I wanted to just get a sense of how long this would take so that I could tell you. It looks very, very easy. Uh, pour water in. Um, Place a disc in the bottom. Hello. Sprinkle seeds on. Place warm in a warm and sunny window. And that's it. So I won't fully plant my little basil garden with you watching because I have other things to talk about. But 
highly recommend. This is so, so cute. They have a bunch of other ones too. So I think I might go back um, and add a few more. I love the idea of like a little garden being stacked up next to each other in a windowsill. So, so cute. Or um, along your kitchen counter, if it gets good enough sunlight, anything like that. Um, so cute. Also, if you've never been here before, this is Tallulah. She's a rescue dog from the streets of New Jersey. <laughs> if you can believe it, she had her seventh birthday just the other day. And we love her so very much. That's it. Okay, you want to go back to bed? Okay. Thank you for making a guest appearance. Um, okay. Some other things I wanted to mention to you. Oh, sorry. We're at the halfway mark. If you're new here, my name is Madison. Uh, I am a former fashion editor turned digital strategist. I live between New York and Los Angeles. This is LA. Wish I could take you outside with me to enjoy the sunshine. Uh, but here we are. So I talked to you about a few things, but now I'm just going to present some things that I um, curated and edited from the Verishop app. You guys, I spent a lot of time scrolling this app to find the cutest things for you. So let me show you a few of them now. Firstly, these Dumbo bookend pair from Tortuga. Um, these are super minimal, super chic. Um, they would look so gorgeous uh, at the end of a bookshelf. They'd look great on top of a dresser. Um, I love them on like two opposite side tables flanking a bed. Uh, I think these are so versatile, so gorgeous. Um, they're definitely a piece that you'll have forever. You would carry these from apartment to apartment or something. Uh, I loved these so much. Actually, can I add them to my bag? Yes, I can add them to my bag. Um, yay, add them to my bag. Uh, these are lovely. With my discount right now, they're um, only 70 bucks, which is awesome. Um, also, as a reminder, my candle is doing so well. Let's see if I can show you. It has a little baby pool of wax that's forming. It smells amazing. It's very floral. It smells like, like gardenias and orchids or something. Maybe hydrangeas too. Lovely. Okay. Uh, some other fun things that I found. I just think that this peeler is the chicest, most minimal, uh, like food, fruit, vegetable peeler that's ever happened, ever. Uh, it's by a brand called um, Norman Copenhagen. Uh, it's black and chic and minimal, but super functional. I love the idea of replacing all the things that you actually use with like their gorgeous counterparts. Um, to me, that's, uh, so exciting and it's also about um finding items that you can keep literally for the rest of your life like you can give this peeler to your child one day not that your kid's gonna want your peeler but that idea of longevity and sustainability and buying things once uh and buying the the thing that is both functional beautiful and long lasting so that you don't have to keep rebuying that um that one thing that's my motto for life. I like to find the very best material and version of something so that you're not constantly, constantly replacing it. Because that overconsumption and that uh, waste just is going to make our planet a sad spot. Uh, awesome. The next thing on my list that I don't have here, and then I'll go back over those. Um, are these beautiful um, one quart bowls from Berghof? Uh, love those. And then I actually ordered these um, plates and bowls that I'm about to show you, but they got sent to New York. So once I'm back in New York, I'll show them to you. Um, but this is a gorgeous um, dinnerware set from Hawkins. They come in a set of four, which is amazing. Um, I got the color charcoal, which you should see here. 
Um, I got these low bowls, which I think are such a chic uh, update to like a cereal bowl. I have cereal bowls right now and this low bowl feels like just a more elevated way to eat your food, <laughs> to enjoy um, things you cook or even if you're just decanting your takeout. Um, I really, really love these low bowls and I'm so excited about them. Um, and then here are the coordinating plates. Again, they come in a set of four. Right now, they're only $61. I wish I got them with my discount, but I didn't. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, like I said, they're a charcoal co color. Um, they are kind of um, glazed. They're not shiny, shiny, but they do have a glaze on them. I thought they might be more matte than they are. Um, oops, I have a string. Uh, but they're so gorgeous. Hawkins is a brand that was um, started and founded uh, in upstate New York. Uh, they did have a store in the West Village for a while, although I think it now has closed. Um, we love them. They have the most, most beautiful housewares, dinnerwares, um, candles, sheets, linens, all of those kinds of things. Oh, which reminds me, it's not next week, but in a few weeks I have um, a Vera Shop show about uh, my favorite bedding, which I'm so excited about because I'm obsessed with finding uh, natural um, linens, meaning linen, cotton, uh, et cetera. And I hope you join me for that one. Don't forget, we're here every Tuesday at 5 p.m. PST or 8 p.m. EST. And if I'm not here, you guys, there's like basically always somebody doing a cute life for you on the Vera Shop app. So check in every once in a while, see who's here, see their collections. Um, Vera Shop has so much uh, inventory, which is awesome, but also it can be a little daunting. So it's really fun to have all of these creators curate things that they love for you. Um, you can always click on my profile. My profile here is, I think, Madison Russell. Um, and all of my collections are public. So you can see like my home collection, my skincare collection, my makeup collection. And I am being 100% honest, honest when I tell you that I use all the things in all my collections every day. They're genuinely the things that I love um, and that I have vetted. So go check them out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is the probably the cutest dustpan and broom from, again, Norman Copenhagen. I feel like they just made beautiful elevated home basics. Um, I'm so glad to have discovered this brand. I found them on Vera Shop, which is awesome. Uh, such a beautiful um, essential for your home and in your kitchen. Um, I would, if I had like a, what's it called? Like an entryway rack or something, or like a mud room with like a um, rack of utility things, this would be so beautiful to be hung and kept out. I think it's so fun to find pieces that are so beautiful that they can be displayed even as they're like useful, you know, like this is so much cuter than a Swiffer or something. Um, and last but not least, we have this other um, Brooklyn Candle Studio candle called um, the Escapist Candle, uh, which just looks so, so beautiful. I love the packaging. It's minimal and stunning. Um, so if you click on these four dots right here. I'm going to take you back through the things that I have here with me. Uh, first is this beautiful, beautiful candle from La Or de Seraphine or something like that. Um, this is the Aurora ceramic jar candle. Um, I got the, I think the larger size, if I remember correctly, and I think the larger size is linked here um, in my collection for you. Uh, this is the really, really beautiful like hydrangea scent or something. Um, it comes in this really beautiful giant ceramic jar. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like really big. Like this is my head. <laughs> this is a candle. Um, so you're gonna get a lot of burn time out of this. I don't know how long it technically is, but um, I would imagine it's it's a, at least 40 hours, if not more. Um, so you can really light this if you work from home, keep it up, out all day. Um, and it's really throwing a lot of scent too, in a, in a pleasant way, not in, a, in an overwhelming way. So if you 
um, you know, are looking for something to also like send your home and uh, liven it up. This is beautiful. Comes with this beautiful top to extinguish the flame as well. And as we talked about, if you're here at the very beginning, I am obsessed with these kinds of um, jarred candles because at the end, I uh, pour really hot water in here and take out all of the extra wax. And then you can use this um, jar as a canister. Uh, this would be perfect for cotton swabs or Q-tips or um, your toothbrush and toothpaste on your bathroom countertop, any of those kinds of like toiletry essentials. Um, you can put it on top of a dresser as like just a little stash of whatever you want to put in there. Um, you could put it on like a bookshelf on top of like a horizontal stack of books. You know, the uses are very, are endless for this candle second life, which I love. Like I said, and like I've said a million times and I'll keep saying again, my vibe and my thing is all about buying things that last and buying things that don't harm the planet as much as their counterparts. Oftentimes they're slightly more expensive than their counterparts, but they last longer and uh, they generally won't, you know, let you down in terms of their utility. So that was the first thing. The second thing are these beautiful, beautiful linen towels. These say they're from uh, Magic Linen. They're 100% linen. Um, I love this neutral stripe. Such a gorgeous, soft pattern and still a tiny bit of color. And then it also came in a set of two with this other linen towel. This one's kind of like a flax and this one's like a cabana stripe. Um, the texture is so lovely. This really feels like a, a delicious linen. I don't know if you can see this up close. It's a little bit nubby, which I love. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but there was this image circulating around the internet the other day of um, a pair of polyester jeans that had been out in the sun for like 50 years or something, and they're like still intact. Meaning when your clothes or your items or your, you know, fabrics are made out of basically uh, plastic, they will remain on this earth for many, 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 many years and much longer than you and I will be on this planet. So when you buy things like linen or silk or cotton or naturally derived um, fabrics, they can go in a landfill and they will eventually disintegrate, right? They're, you know, uh, they're, they're not plastic, <laughs> which is awesome. Also, the thing about linens and cottons and all that is that they're, um, their lifespan is much longer, right? They're, they can take much more um, wear and tear over time. Uh, they feel better on your skin. If you're like me, I have very, very sensitive skin and linen, cotton, silk, whatever, um, just like feels so much better, you know, than a polyester or an acrylic or whatever. And these are so beautiful. And uh, where are they? They're, I think these are currently $12.24, which is crazy. So with my 15% off, they're really not even that ex expensive, which is awesome. Okay, and then the last thing, and then I will leave you, is probably the piece de resistance. I don't know why this week is so French. Forgive me. Um, I bought, and I'm so excited about this, basil hydro glow kit. It comes with this gorgeous vessel, plant protein, this cocoa thingy, which I think is your dirt, this activated carbon thing, this little mesh pot, and these wicks. So what I'm going to do, I want to know, is fill up this vessel with water, this little mesh pot,
sure. Um, with my discount right now, this one is only $19, which is so fun. Uh, I love the idea of uh, this vessel being decor, food, and like a touch of life in your apartment or your home. Like what a fun combo of uh, all good things. So that's it. That's my first home show. Um, check back in every Tuesday at 5 p.m. PST or 8 p.m. EST, like I said. Um, next week, I think, is back to fashion. fashion. But then the following week, I think, is um, a home show. I can't remember. I'll have to check. But if you follow me on Instagram, I post my updates of when I'm doing these. If you follow me on Vera Shop, you can see my collections. Um, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Oops. And uh, I hope you have the best day ever. Okay, bye. <laughs>